All right, boys, welcome back to another video here today. I wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for 2.2k. Second of all, we're going to be going over a dev notice that we just got. It's a little bit of like an update. I'll read it through and just show you guys the uh, entire thing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. It really does help out a ton. And if you haven't already left a like, that also really helps out. <laughs> But no further delay, let's get straight into this and let's talk about everything. All right, on screen, you're taking a look at what we got here today. Now, this is going to be a fun thing to read because it's zoomed in for you, but it's not zoomed in for me. And I hate when this does that uh, on my editing thing. So it's going to be fun. All right. Devs blog or the dev blog extra mess hall chatter. So first of all, I'll quickly explain what this is. Uh, they explain what it is. Uh, but again, just saying this real quick, this is kind of like, I'm just going to sum it up. I don't, I don't need to read through this. It's practically dev notes from other games, right? Like they give you uh, a quick status update of what's happening. This is their way to communicate. A lot of games have something like, again, this is rare now because, you know, MHA exists. Patch notes are a big thing in the game. That's where they give you the, the entire thing that happened. What's up and coming. Uh, Grand Cross has dev notes. Other games have dev statements, community responses, all of that type of stuff. But this, they're going to be calling them mess hall chatter. Just so you keep that in mind. Yeah, that's what this is. That's practically what happened over here. And uh, this will be the first one of, uh, you know, for global, right? Now, about the R&D uh, pool and probability, some commandments were worried that will change the guaranteed probability and new character launch schedules to boost profitability. Rest assured, that's not our plan. And we are confirming that the R&D uh, pool probabilities on new characters will be based on our original CN servers. The 100% guarantee for new S rank characters and 80% guarantee for six star weapons will remain unchanged. However, due to launching much later, some changes to these update schedule are unavoidable for the global server. So there you go. Okay, Just, I'm going to explain this in a second. There may be some schedule tweaks needed uh, for all characters to receive their time in the probability uh, booster limelight across both arrival and fate arrival pools. Okay, so real quick. Yes, I understand that in the beginning here, they did say, yeah, we're going to keep the pity the same, all of that. You guys don't have to worry. Uh, they said we'll change the, uh, we won't be changing the guaranteed probabilities and new character launch schedules. So it looks like they won't switch up the gotcha schedule, right? It's going to be the same thing. That's what it's going to be. But here in the second half, due to, cha uh, due to launching much later, uh, some changes to the update schedule are unavoidable for global servers. Okay. There may be some scheduled tweaks needed for all characters to receive their time in the probability booster limelight. Okay, so again, I will be honest with you right now, and I saw somebody mention this also, right? I do feel like the game will have to change how it operates from other servers. I do feel like global is going to be a little bit more fast paced, right? just a little bit, right? That's what I expect from this entire thing, and we don't know how it's going to work. Just take this all with a grain of salt. This is just my entire, uh, my entire, I just, okay, this is my first read over, right? So again, I could be just saying something out of the, out of the air, take this all with a grain of salt. How I feel they're going to do things is like, again, I think like someone was saying banners last so long on one of the versions over here. It's going to be very different, right? It's going to be like. Uh, the banner drops, it lasts two to three weeks, that's it, new banner comes in, it'll be a little bit more fast paced, that's how I expect it from global, but who knows, right, I'm just, again, I'm just saying stuff out of the air, I could be wrong, I could be correct, take it all with a grain of salt, but, um, again, they practically say right here, some changes to update the schedule, what's gonna happen, who knows, right, we don't have a confirmation or anything, but yes, they do say here right now, uh, don't get mad at us when we do change some, some things, uh, it's, it's bound to happen, it's eventual, just because, yeah, our version, uh, launched way later than the other ones, just keep all this in mind when I'm saying it. There might be a small change to how they operate their banners. Maybe their banner systems are faster. Maybe they change how their banner uh, systems launch, where they launch, when they launch, how long they last. Any of that can get affected just off of this one statement. About our content update schedule, let's just cut to the chase and answer the question that so many have asked. Yes, we hope to bring over as much content from the CN version as we can, and we'll be sticking closely to the original reward structure to maintain parity between versions. So practically speaking, there you go. They did confirm they're going to be sticking to the reward structure of the other version, which is amazing. Yes, uh, we all were, uh, you know, kind of triggered about the, uh, the what is it, the novice missions, because again, I know people were uh, on the fence about that one, but it's like they could have just gave the 1,000 black cards instead and had us purchase the costume if we wanted it. A lot of people don't even want the costume. It's like they're just going to sit in their locker uh, or bag. So GG's only. Moving up. As with our character pools, there may be some differences in the release schedule. It's, it's, what, it's kind of what I said there. You know, it's they kind of just justified what I just said. And I, I didn't have to explain all of that. Like, yeah, we, okay. Based on the current developer workload, needs of players and the time required to localize especially content-rich events, 
Seasonal events such as Christmas and Halloween may be rescheduled to better correspond with the actual calendar event rather than the version number it was associated with in its original CN release. Why? Because it'd be weird to have Christmas happening in the middle of summer. So there you go. This is a pretty good statement as well. Yeah, we kind of expected that to happen. A lot of games do this. They uh, switch up the order so the uh, holidays actually land onto it. Here, they're going to do the same thing. So again, just I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt. This could be hinting towards, you know, a summer event happening right now, even though the summer event was way out there, right? Again, they don't really give you the, uh, like, the entire statement of summer happening, just because maybe it's a surprise thing. Uh, we have, what, up next, we're going to have Alpha. Maybe they do it that way. Apparently, in another version, uh, Alpha released during Christmas. So, I mean, it would make sense over here if they just change it up and they put uh, Alpha out during the summer event. They could do, like, a late summer event where it happens in August instead of July. Could be that way right now we're in july we expect alpha to drop in august just like on the other version how she released during a christmas update over here she could release during a summer update it could happen just take it all with a grain of salt though i really can't give you a confirmation so please just be, don't be like hey dude what are you what are you what are you on no that's not, that's not what they said here i'm just saying it could be okay there yeah, moving on uh, about localized content over here this is one of the areas where there will be noticeable differences uh, between regions as some content is tailored to each region as such some may be added removed or swapped out as appropriate okay yesterday i made a video where i talked about one of the costumes it was like a uh, a jp exclusive costume everyone was like yeah that's not going to come out practically it's a jp exclusive so right here they are going to be some may be added removed or swapped out okay so it could be that we get it uh like a different version of it it could be removed it could be added it could be swapped out right so they could give it to us or they could change it up or they could not give it to us it's, it's one of those three right like some uh pieces of furniture memories and special coatings that's what i'm re uh, referring to uh don't worry we won't be trying to pass off any rice bowls as jelly donuts i see what they're doing there uh without affecting the overall atmosphere and core combat experience we want to give each player or give players in each region a fresh experience and you can see roughly what to expect by comparing what regional goodies are available in jp and taiwan servers so again they're gonna try to keep everything the same they're gonna try and keep the goodies the same uh yeah what happened uh you know before with the entire notice thing the uh the thing was because again it wasn't equalized i guess you can say we got the skin they got the a thousand extra people were like we'd rather have the a thousand extra instead of the skin that is what end up uh, ended up happening last time so uh i guess you know they're gonna try to keep it the same from now on also for anyone that uh, wants this they're gonna be offering a chinese language option you guys can read through this but uh i just wanted to focus on this section down here uh but again it's like a chinese dub a lot of people are hyping it, uh, hyping it up in the comments so there you go for anyone that liked that you can enjoy with that one uh but i think that's the end of the statement right that's all that was uh well that was a bit more serious than we'd hoped uh but launch week is a serious time anyways uh thanks to all the commandments who have encouraged us and shared their love and support to the game uh, making games as you um, as you may have heard isn't easy and the moral support means the world to our crew yes sir yes sir we wholeheartedly apologize for the commandments uh that had any issue with the game since launch okay entire community to respond to the issues as they reported so not bad right they say we're gonna be clear about things they say all of that you guys can take a look at the statement for yourselves uh but yeah anybody in the comment section want to break this down with me you guys can take a look into it i will uh read through the comments and i'll pin a comment just explaining what i said and hopefully i made it clear right I'm going to go through it. So here you have a confirmation. They're going to drop it 100% pity, right? So you guarantee the character, okay? Over here, they kind of say they're going to change up a little bit of things, right? It's going to keep like the same gotcha schedule. So it's going to be like the same order, but maybe some scheduling things, right? So let's say the alpha banner may last two weeks here, three weeks here. We don't know. I'm just saying that. Keep all of that in mind. Again, it's it, we have to wait till the banner drops. We'll then have all the info. Also, when it comes to localized content and rewards, they're going to try to keep everything the same five rewards. But some things might not make it to this version, and you got to keep that in mind. So again, don't compare it to JP, because some things were exclusive to JP, and some were, you know, again, might be exclusive over here that will never hit JP. Keep that in mind. There you go. Not a bad statement over here. You guys can read through it again. I'll leave links in the description. That's been it. Thank you again for watching. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.